Who doesn't want $10 million? Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiPotato here with another segment of Vic's Viewpoint. So we just had a Mega Millions drawing and the total was almost a record $1.34 billion. $1.34 billion. Yeah, I know. It's exciting. It's enormous. It's a shitload of money. It's also disgusting and stupid and a perfect example of what should change about this country. Now, just follow me for one minute. I'm just trying to be practical because one person winning $1.34 billion seems a little impractical to me. A little bit. A little bit. Here's my thoughts. Oh, boy, let's create another billionaire fat cat in this country. That's just what we need. No, it isn't. My point is simply this. 1,000 lives could have been changed in this lottery. 1,000 people could have gotten 1.34 million. What? That wouldn't instantly change a lot of lives and possibly for their whole life? Or 100 people could have gotten 10 million. That's not the point. My point is, why not make the lottery something that truly changes the lives of so many more people? I mean, that's what the lottery should be. It should be for the people. Instead, the government takes half of it in taxes, so they can buy 6 million tubes of toothpaste at $250 for each tube, and then they basically give one person the rest of the jackpot, so they create one more American citizen who has five Lamborghinis, 10 houses, and more money than their kids, their grandkids, and every fucking snot-nosed, chubby little freak they pop out for the rest of their fucking lives could ever spend. Here's what I would do. Follow me. The lottery should be structured completely differently. Okay, once it reaches 20 mil, it splits to two drawings for two winners. 10 mil each. And it does that every 20 million until it gets to 100 mil, at which point it is now 20 drawings to create 20 people who each win 5 mil. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, I'm talking about the fucking lottery making real impact, seriously changing tens of thousands of lives every single year. How does giving one person $1.34 billion help anybody but that one person who is now wiping their ass with gold leaf toilet paper and lighting cigars with $100 bills? And honestly, I really don't give a shit if you disagree with me. Just shut the fuck up and do me a favor. Go watch videos that, uh, that funny uh, oligarchs make because that's what you must be supporting. I'm not saying we should limit how much rich people make. What I'm saying, if we have a lottery, then we make it impact more people and it's still really significant and really impactful, just for many more lives. Who doesn't want $10 million? That's the life changer. You're done. You're set for life, or even 1.34 million. Do you realize what that means to so many different types of people, from the elderly to the working class to the single mom to 99.9% .9 of the entire country? So, yeah, what a great story when one person instantly becomes a billionaire. Whoopee! But how much better would it be if 1,000 people became an instant millionaire? Even when the lottery is a measly 200 million, in my scenario, 40 people would get 5 million each. And you know what? That's a way better and more exciting lottery as far as I'm concerned. If that happened every week, then in the mega millions alone, at least 2,100 people would become millionaires each year. And I bet more people would play the lottery too, which only increases the jackpot even more, which helps education, the roads, and whatever else this fucking money is supposed to go to help fix. And that's that. Stop being hogs with everything in this country. Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. There's no reason why the lottery can't be changed. I don't think anybody ever thought that jackpots would be in the billions when the lottery first started. People like Louis the light bulb would win 1.5 million in the beginning. Google it. Let's evolve and think about how we can change shit that would maybe should be changed and make shit like lotteries even better for everyone. All right. I'm going in the pool now. I worked hard for that fucking pool, okay? I worked hard for the money that paid for that in-ground pool, but I wouldn't pass up a $1.34 million lump sum gift either.